So this question says, to determine the mean number of children per household in a community, Tabitha surveyed 20 families at a playground. For the 20 families surveyed, the mean number of children per household was 2.4, right? So those 2.4 kids, but that only came from the 20 families surveyed. Which of the following statements must be true? Now, remember, we're trying to determine the mean number of children per household in an entire community. And 2.4 came out of this experiment where only 20 families at a playground were, um, were surveyed. So answer choice A says the mean number of children per household in the community is 2.4. Well, we can't really say that, first of all, because we only surveyed 20 people. We don't know how many people are in the entire community. And um, I have an issue with the survey being like the survey taking place at a playground, right? Because that's where families will go. So if you don't have any children, it's less likely that you'd be at a playground and have the opportunity to be surveyed. So A is out. Choice B, a determination about the mean number of children per household in the community should not be made because the sample size is too small. Possibly, right? I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the entire community is only 20 families. So B is definitely a better answer than A, but it has its problems as well. So I'm going to put a little check mark next to B because it's better than A, but I'm going to move on to C to see if C is even better. So choice C says the sampling method is flawed and may produce a biased estimate of the mean number of children per household in the community. So C is actually a better answer than B. It doesn't go into saying the sample size is too small, right? Because we don't really know. Um, we don't really know how large the community is, but it does say that, hey, the way that this was done, the method is flawed. And that's that's definitely true. So C is a better answer than than B was. So choice D says the sampling method is not flawed and is likely to produce an unbiased estimate of the mean number of children per household in the community. Well, that can't be true because if that were true, then also choice A would be true, right? So D is gone. Um, we know that the method is in fact flawed just because of location even. So choice C ends up being the best answer out of the bunch here. So the method that I use is really a method that I use a lot on the reading section. And this method is King of the Hill. So what I mean by this is I keep an open mind to the fact that I'm looking for the best answer, not the correct answer. And what that means for me is, you know, if B seems okay initially, then it's okay for it to be the king until another answer choice comes along and knocks it off, which is exactly what we just saw here. We said, hey, A, that's just not, we can't make a blanket statement like that. B is definitely better than A, so B is a king, A gets knocked down. But then C comes along, knocks down B, and then D comes along and is not as good as C, so C remains the king. So that's king of the hill. Um, it's just another way to use process of elimination.